So this is a panther chameleon named Louie, and Louie is here because he's... Lethargic and his eyes were open. Okay, and he's been lethargic how long? A week. Okay. And his eyes, has he always had... He has more crusting right now on his eyes than normal. The right side won't open, the left side will occasionally. Okay. And their eyes are really cool because when we take them out, you'll see that um, they're, they have monocular vision. They can look one way with one eye and another way with the other eye. And if, they, if their eyes are bothering them, sometimes they won't eat as well. So let's take them out and see. The fun part about holding on to them is that they want to hold on to you. Yeah. yeah. It really is amazing. It's incredible that anything is actually this color. Right. It doesn't look real. Okay. Alright, so that right eye is definitely closed. I'm going to start with his eyes. Turn around like this. And it's amazing. They have a huge eyeball or globe and they have a teeny, teeny, teeny little slit to open their eye. And here's his more normal eye, although he's closing it too. We may have to shine put a little saline in there. I'm just going to feel his eyes. So he's got a little swelling associated with that eye because I'm touching his eyes, which he's not very excited about. And I can't push that eye back in quite as far as I can the other eye. But let's look at him overall and then we'll focus back on his eye. Okay, my friend. We're going to open your mouth. I know you're not excited about this. Okay. Okay. Take a quick look inside your mouth. I know. Very gentle. Okay. So we're looking inside his mouth. And he is nice and pink. He really doesn't want me to open his mouth. I got a quick look. Okay, we're going to feel around his face. And there doesn't seem to be any swelling around his eye itself. And his jaw is nice and firm. Okay. Sometimes they can have abscesses on their face or bony swellings, but I don't really feel that in him at all. And he's very <laughs> Okay. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Great look in his mouth at that point. You want to do that yeah. again? Do it again. Okay. Get mad again. Hold on. Get mad. Here we go. And you can see what's really amazing is just looking at their digits, their toes. Yeah. He is really incredible. He really wants to grasp and climb, and sometimes you just have to keep going. So we'll be feeling his belly as we do this. Oh. Okay, hang on. A trick. Oh, there we got a great open mouth view. Look at that. <laughs> Very mad. You can see his trachea, the whole thing. Why did I bother trying to open your mouth? You're doing a great job for me. Okay, I know. You really want to take a big bite, but we're not going to let you do that. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm just feeling your belly. Is your eye open? No. A little bit. Okay. You know what? I'm going to take a look at your eye while you're... Don't bite your own tail. That would be a mistake. Okay, so this... The good eye is very clear. Okay, take a deep breath. Okay, and the bad eye doesn't want to open. But his mouth is good, and there's no swelling even under his eye in his mouth, which is very important. Okay, okay. You want to hold on to your stick? that make you feel a little more comfortable? Okay. You want to hold him there? Sometimes grasping on it. Uh huh, we're mad. <laughs> it's a trick. Okay, let me come back to your belly. Okay, his abdomen feels totally normal. He has a good grasp with all his feet. His tail looks good. His skin looks really good. He has a good weight. When you look at the size of their head in proportion to their body, it's pretty amazing. He's yeah. all head and eyes. You can see his tail is prehensile too. There we go. Okay. All right, let's give him a little teeny bit of a break, and we're going to get some saline ready for his eye. Okay, here we go. He's not going to be happy with his eye. I know. I know. Even if we don't put him sort of sideways, so that we can aim down. We're just dripping this into his eye. And it's sitting on top of his eye. <laughs> okay. Well, well. Some of it's got to go yeah, in there. Some of it, a little bit. Okay. So we'll flush that eye. Okay. We had another chameleon with an eye problem as well, and we had this exact same problem, because <laughs> their eyes are so small. Let's do the other one, too. Okay, okay. No, he's not opening no, this one either. <laughs> Alright. He's like, I know what you guys are doing. Yeah. So it's going to be dripping in there.
Okay. There you go. Yes. You <laughs> want to crawl up to me again like you did? You did such a good job. So we're going to turn the light off. So we can shine light on his eye and see if there's any kind of green sticking to his eye. It doesn't look like there is. It looks pretty clear. Okay. Let's just check the other eye. Yep. He's definitely got a little bit of swelling in this eye. You can see, if you look at him head on, this eye is sticking out a little bit. You see the difference? Yeah, I noticed that. If you look at him, whoa! Okay, I don't want to touch you because if I touch you, you get really mad and then you don't have to keep your eyes open. But if we look at him from above, there's definitely a little more swelling of that eye. Yeah. And it could even be something that's behind his eye that we can't see. But it's pretty subtle. So it doesn't look like there's um, a corneal ulcer, which is good. I mean, he could have a localized infection in his eye. It could be a bacterial or a viral thing. When we see one-sided um, eye discharge like that, we have to think of trauma because it would be a little weird for it to just be an infection on one side. Most of the time it's on both eyes. Um, we could submit the culture to the lab if you wanted to. We could start him on some um, antibiotic drops, um, which are always fun to do because his eye opening is two millimeters, so you kind of have to line with the side like that. But I think drops work better than ointment because at least you have a chance of them running into the little opening. Um, and see what happens. If this didn't get better, um, we could take some x-rays of his head because one of the concerns we have is that there's something behind his eye pushing his eye forward. And I can't really tell that. I don't see swellings in his mouth. Um, he doesn't have any jaw pain. Um, he is able to open and close his mouth okay. It doesn't feel like there's a lump on his jaw in any way. But whenever we see swelling of one eye and it's a little asymmetrical like that, you have to think of something behind the eyeball. Um, and they can get abscesses and they can get correlates. Now he's young, so something like a tumor would be less likely, obviously, behind his eye, but they can get abscesses anywhere. So, I mean, he clearly isn't doing badly because he sees very well out of that eye. When Once it's open, he's manipulating around his, you know, the tank fine, he's not falling. Um, he, he is very visual when you open his eye up. But